Hi, I'm Keith Floofabout, climate change enthusiast, fossil fuel aficionado, carbon emission connoisseur, sex pest. Now it's a beautiful sunny October day, blue skies, sunshine flooding through your windows, winter nowhere to be seen. I might go down the beach later, slather on the sun cream, try and catch a tan. Now obviously I ain't got a sort of complexion that tans easily, but nothing is impossible is it? Life is unpredictable. For instance, we all thought that by now at this point in the year, we'd have the central heating on for an hour in the mornings and at night, but no, we don't need it do we? I mean there's probably some old people people out there who've caved in and switched their heating on, they've let themselves down a bit. But for most of us, the home energy crisis has so far failed to materialise. I mean, we're still going to end up paying a fortune for our home energy, even though we're not using it, which is a bit confusing. But that is life in this country now, isn't it? We're all paying for things we're not getting. Like the NHS, we're paying for an NHS that doesn't exist. You've got more chance of seeing a mythical creature than a GP these days. You phone up your doctor's surgery, you say, hello, can I have a face-to-face -face appointment with a doctor? They say, no, you can't. But if you want to come into the surgery, We've got a Kraken you can have a look at. Anyway, practically no one has got their home heating on. We're using less fossil fuels. We're producing fewer carbon emissions. And that is all thanks to global warming. The more the planet heats up, the less carbon emissions we have to produce in order to keep ourselves warm. And as we start to produce less carbon emissions, the planet starts to heal and the climate starts to cool down a bit. And then the cycle repeats itself. This is the delicate balance humanity has struck with the natural world. Now, if a few species happen to die out along the way because of climate change, so be it. That's evolution, isn't it? Survival of the fittest. Adapt or die. If the sea turtles go extinct, that's their own fault for not changing with the times. That's why it's important that we keep ramping up global warming until this war in Ukraine is finished and we can get cheap oil and gas off Russia again. And we can all play our part in that. Get out in the garden right now and burn some tyres. Together we can get through the winter. Climate change will sort itself out. Let's concentrate on plundering the Earth's resources, indulging in voracious overconsumption, producing mountains of waste so that a thick fog of pollution hangs over us all, poisoning our children. When it feels this right, how could it be wrong? Have a lovely day people, take care, be lucky.